So what? Uh, what seems to be the problem with you two? Well, obviously, you came here for a reason. I'm guessing that reason is for marriage counseling. Can we talk, people, please? I'm sorry. So, let's start out with you, Bungaroo. Well, she disgusts me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's funny, it reminds me of grass. He doesn't like it. the pits! Screaming toxin, dendrophiliacs, toxins, <laughs> sticks, trees. <laughs> the doctor. Hey, uh, Doc. I need to make an appointment. I've got the roids, you see. I've got the roids. I haven't, I haven't been able to sit down in ages. I mean. 
the other day, I'm chasing this fella in the woods, and I missed my fucking aim with my axe, because I got the roids. Can you bullet doctor? Are you trying to arouse me? Because it is working. Is this is this what I should be eating to, to get rid of the roids? And uh, what do I need to do to see up that shirt there? Hmm? Hmm? Looks like Mr. Pittersworth had a little bit too much to drink. Up the daisy. <laughs> <laughs> So, Janet, tell me, what's up with you and Bobby B? Fuck Bobby B! <laughs> Gotta get prepped for the big thing. <laughs> oh, I'm so beautiful. Don't you think, Bunny Bee? <laughs> After Bunny Bee got thrown against the graded fence by Bertha, decided to take on the world at its own pace by drinking coffee mixed with Baileys. Because of the alcohol, Bunny Bee is in the local detox center. Hello, Bunny Bee. Hello. Now, Bunny Bee and Tebos, do you both know why you're here? I don't have a fucking problem! Now, Bunny Bee, you shouldn't be talking like that. You are fucking boring, You're fucking controlling me! Ah! Ah! Uh, take, attendant, yeah. take, take him away, take him to 206. Oh, oh, Bunny Bee! Bunny Bee! Bunny Bee! Bunny Bee! You go to someone. like yeah. Where'd he go? I don't know. I'm really in some dire need of Jenny. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Where are my balls? What? Rob, I... Balls! Sick! Today with Excalibus. Excalibus used to be Calibus. Oh, but uh, I'm I'm here to interview. So if we could uh, just go and do that, that would be great. It's 
right. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, when you came here, what do you want to know about us? Well, uh, so how long have you guys been together in bread years? Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, actually, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, we started like a couple days ago. Yeah. It's, it's the other day, man. I remember. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to join. Oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but actually, kids, the real reason why we're here today is to tell you about. Thing that affects a lot of us, and it's uh, to be all like seriously and all, it's uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, Lou Gehrig has a disease? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, these fucks. My name's Chelsea Cornwright, uh, ex guitar player slash uh, recording genius of uh, the band Excalibus, but I'm sure you already knew that. Uh, I'm just here to tell you, the fans, uh, that, um, I, I left the band for personal reasons. Now, I just wanted to be known that I was not kicked out of the band, okay? First off, let me explain that move. The swoosh, the hair swoosh, I just want to state that I invented that move, not my mocking brother. Sometimes, like, when I'm alone, like, you know, I'll think about, think about, uh, you know, like, cutting open uh, bunnies or small uh, woodland creatures and, and fucking the slits. But seriously, the message. But the whole purpose of this whole thing that I'm doing right now, you know, like with a handheld camera, cha, is Gunter Hans. You may have heard of him, quasi hypnotic neurobiologist, A.K.A. fucking dick. He stole my girlfriend and did. When I find him at that neurobiologist convention at the high school, I am gonna fuck him up. Can't keep an age rocker down. Shut up. What are you doing out here this late? I'm like looking to find the quasi hypnotic neurologist convention. Have you ever seen one of these? Have you ever seen one of these? One of these just isn't enough. In fact, a hundred in fact, a hundred of these wouldn't be enough to quench the thirst of my mentally unstable, warming cavity of a brain. In fact, ask one of my twenty just ask one of my twenty wives. It's true. If my husband didn't have Eucharist shoes, he would probably play a dulcimer in a quintet of transvestite. In which case, I certainly wouldn't be the spineless shadow of a human that I am today. You said it, you voluptuous piece of Mormon sandwich. So, Doc, how about that prescription? Well, if you would have given me a chance to speak, I would have told you. You've been out of that for weeks. You didn't hear? Eucharist Chews was taken over by a renegade group of those damn zombie metrosexuals. Well, sir, you better watch out for those V-men. 